Hi, Adam and Leah. Adam, I never introduced myself. My name is Neely. Um, I went to high school with Leah. I always thought she was the prettiest girl in our class, so you got very lucky. So, I study spirituality and Kabbalah and Hasidut, and I wanted to share with you three perspectives about some really deep stuff regarding life and death. And look, obviously, you guys are thinking about this stuff, you know? So, uh, I wanted to share with you one, a children's perspective on their parents and two, heaven's perspective on life and death and, um, and another perspective on unity and separation. So first of all, there's a, there's a thought, there's an idea that every child before they come down to this earth, their soul, including us, this was us, and uh, before we come down, Hashem gives us options of what family we want to go into. And we have all the options, right? So you could choose those parents, those parents, those parents, like we did this ourselves. And people say like, that's crazy. Like people choose like mean parents. Like why would they do such a thing? And the idea is not, not that you guys are mean parents, but the idea is basically that we choose parents based on the highest possible growth for our soul, the highest possible fixing tikkun of our soul. So every soul gets to choose, and when we're in heaven, there's no barriers. We know everything. It's the world of truth, because I'm not, I'm not blocked by my body or what I can see or what I can think about. We know everything from heaven, so we have full knowledge. We see every option that we can have, and we get to choose which parents will be the most perfect. So the first thing I want to tell you is that your three beautiful children chose you. They chose you knowing everything. They chose you knowing maybe Abba's going to be in the hospital and he won't get to play with me when I get home from school. They knew. They chose you whether or not we're all going to live till 120 or if they won't have chas v'shalom, a time in their lives without both parents. We should all be blessed to live healthy, long lives. But Adam and Leah, they chose you knowing every single detail of the joy and the love and the pain and the hardship. They chose you because you guys were the absolute perfect parents for them, for the DNA that they have, and for the most meaningful, purposeful, highest choice of Abba and Ima. We all do, and, and, and also your kids. So I just wanna say that, because I don't know if anyone's saying this kind of stuff to you. Um, the second thing I wanna say, I wanna share with you, this is a very meaningful thing, uh, is, the perspective on life and death, le fi chasidu. So here's how it goes. Basically, when a soul comes down from heaven, heaven is crying. Heaven is like, no, no, Hashem, don't do it. Don't send them to that world, the farthest realm where there's so much pain and suffering. Hashem, no. And then Hashem sends us down here to this crazy world of brokenness, the absolute farthest from Hashem. And what happens is we celebrate. We're like, yeah, a baby, oh my God, that's so awesome. We're so happy. We cry tears of joy, we celebrate, we throw parties, and we're in utter delight. So you see, it's like, a, it's v'nafochu, it's the opposite. We have the opposite eyes as heaven. And so what happens with death? The same thing. Legitimately, we here on earth, we cry, we mourn. We can't even begin to fathom a life without the people that we love in this physical realm. But heaven, oh man, heaven is having the sweetest party. Heaven is having the biggest celebration. They're going, yes, this person, they completed their tikkun on earth. They've done their job. They're a success. They did everything they had to do to fix their soul. And as my brother explained to me, when someone passes, so there's escorting angels that whisk the soul sweetly upwards and upwards into more infinitely gorgeous places where they feel the unity and bliss of Hashem, of truth, of love, where they go to the one that loves them the most and where there are no longer any boundaries between them and the people that they love. Because like, first of all, when we're alive, okay, you could see me in a video, but I'm not in LA. So let's say, Leah, I love you, but I can't be with you because I'm here because I'm in a body. But if I was to pass, chas v'shalom, so I could be with you all the time. So these are all different perspectives from what we usually think. We usually think death is the worst and birth is the best and, and that's that. And our emotions are legitimate. But from heaven's perspective, so it's a little bit different. It's a, little, it's a lot different. It's a lot different. And the, the, for, for each one of us that goes up after 120, there is an incredible 
festival celebration congratulating us. They say you gave a thirsty man a drink of water one time in your life. This mitzvah, this kindness, this good deed would be enough to dance for 70 years. So can you imagine after our whole lives the celebration that's thrown in heaven to welcome us back to where, where we were from and where we were united with everybody. So yeah, I just thought that was really special. And uh, thirdly, the last thought that I want to share with you is uh, I'm 33. You know, high school feels like, I don't even know, it was like, it was ages ago. Childhood is like, when, when did that happen? <laughs> like life is like a snap and this like sack of flesh and bones right here that I call my body, it's just a body, right? It's just a body. We all are <laughs> because life is it's a flash and so it's been for all before us and so it will be that all from come after us so you know here we feel when someone goes up and someone moves into the other realms it's like oh my god how could I live this life without them right but what we forget to realize is that we're gonna be joining them in no time and our whole lives will pass in the blink of an eye and then we're all reunited forever we're mamish all reunited forever. Um, and soulmates, Adam and Leah, soulmates. Soulmates are promised to be together if they choose so for the rest of eternity uh, in ways that are more united and more loving than we can even imagine down here. So let's say also there's another situation, right? Let's say someone goes up and let's say Mashiach comes and the, and the other person didn't die. So then what? Well, right behind me, I think you could see it as Harazay team. Machayim team is one of the 13 principles of the Rambam. We believe it, that we'll all come back. Um, and I don't know if you can imagine this with someone past, but we're going to sing and dance together in each other's arms and we're totally reunited. So this little worldly life thing, it's, it's a snap and then we're all reunited. So yeah, these are some spiritual truths. Uh, that I wanted to share to Bezrat Hashem, open our hearts and to give courage if possible just to remind what we talked about just to share the little Torah Liz. Um, first we talked about the fact that we choose our parents and our children choose us because that is the absolute perfect circumstance for their lives and the absolute best parents and Ima and Abba that they can have and they and we knew every detail of the matter so we chose wisely, and we are three children chose you so wisely. And two, a different perspective on life and death. And three, the idea of reunion and unity, and that we should all live miraculous, beautiful healings and lives, uh, long, beautiful lives. And mostly, I want to send this to you uh, to bless you and me and the whole world with ultimate trust. You know, one day I was sitting at lunch and the girl across from me just starts crying. And she's a very deep spiritual person. And of course, those kind of people could be sad too, but I looked at her and I was like, holy sister, what's up? What's going on? And she looked up with tears streaming down her face and she, she was going through a really hard time, real stuff. And she says, I just realized that every single thing is Hashem's love. Maybe that sounds like all gaudy and whatever, like, oh, God, God, God. But like, idea being that everything we go through, the awesome, fun, rocking things, and the hardest of the hard, incredible, maybe even the most incredible challenge you've ever faced in your life, the reason that we are going through it is because that is the absolute highest way that God could love us, that God could show us His love in that time through that circumstance. Because God is love, right? Adonai, Yud Kei Vav Kei is 26, 13 and 13 is one love, it's all love. So whatever we're going through, even the mamish, hardest effing things ever, are the highest way Hashem could love us. I bless you so deeply and me that we have emuna and trust um, and Bezrat Hashem, share good news. And good Purim, and good Shabbos, and good everything, and just sending so much love and blessings. Thank you for listening.